This is a treat. What brings you guys by? Raj, Howie told me what's going on with you and Lakshmi. You told her? I told everybody. <laughs> we believe there's someone out there who'll love you for you. Well, actually, we kind of agreed to disagree on that one, but we both think you shouldn't marry this woman. <laughs> So while I'm waiting for this mysterious perfect match who may or may not exist, I'm supposed to just be alone? Not necessarily. I think we found someone for you to cuddle with. <gasps> oh my goodness. Aren't you the cutest little Yorkie ever? <laughs> you got him for me? Her. We thought you two would hit it off. <laughs> I think we already have. Thank you guys so much. Let's go see if you fit in my man purse. That your sexual my ass. Hey, Stuart, you got anything going on for Valentine's Day? Well, not really, other than hiding all the sharp objects around here and white knuckling it till morning. <laughs> what do you got going on? Oh, well, I was going to spend the night with my special little lady, but uh, she got worms and then I had to take her to the vet. I think you're going to be really happy with this security camera. The optics are great. It's got infrared technology. And there's even a backup battery when the power goes out. Whatever. I can see my little princess when I'm at work, right? Why can't you just watch porn like a regular guy? <laughs> Give me your laptop so I can configure the software. But hold on. This is weird. What? I was Googling that girl I've been dating and I found her blog. Cool. Anything juicy? She said she recently went on a date with a guy named Roger. <laughs> and he's Indian? <laughs> and he's an astrophysicist too? You know what's going on, don't you? Yes, Mummy was right. American girls are sexually voracious devils. <laughs> I can't believe I have to explain this. People change names on blogs to protect their privacy. Roger is Raj. Oh. I always thought if I had a white name, it would be Gavin. <laughs> Keep reading. What does it say? No, no, I, I don't know if I should. If she wanted me to know about a blog, she would have told me. It's almost like I'm reading her diary. It's exactly what it's like. Keep reading. <laughs> no, uh, this is creepy. Oh, I think we were looking at creepy in the rearview mirror when I put up that camera. <laughs> it's not creepy. Don't listen to him. Ooh, who's who got the sweetest kisses? Should I go? <laughs> Hey. Hi. Come in. Oh, look how cute your little doggy is. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get too close. If I give the right command in German, she'll rip your face off. <laughs> Uncle Howard. <laughs> Cinnamon's here for a sleepover party. You know if you had a stroke, she'd eat you, right? <laughs> And it would be my pleasure to be her num num. <laughs> okay, so what do I need to know to take care of her? Well, it's very simple. For breakfast, she has an egg white frittata. Feel free to give her a choice of home fries or an English muffin, but not both. We're watching our weight. <laughs> uh, for dinner, something simple uh, a veal chop, some scampi, whatever you like. Classy dog. <laughs> yes. Also, don't forget to close the toilet or she'll drink out of it. I feel for you. <laughs> I've got a psychotic mommy, too. Oh. It's Raj. Stay quiet. Hey, <laughs> bad timing. Bernadette just took Cinnamon out for a walk. Interesting. Did they take a walk down Liar's Lane? <laughs> what? A lane frequented by liars like you, you big liar. <laughs> She's okay. Well, I trusted you and you let me down. The poor thing's been shaking for hours. I'm really sorry. Hang on, you've had her for hours? Yes. I picked her up and then we both went for massages to try and calm down. And then we got Pinkberry. <laughs> so you knew she was okay and you couldn't pick up the phone to tell us? 
Well, I, I, I thought about... Don't well me, mister. We've been worried sick. She could have been dead for all we knew. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sorry, I, I just... Sorry's not good enough. Maybe you need to take some time and think about what you've done. <laughs> Nice guilt trip. <laughs> you are gonna be an amazing mom. <laughs> I invented a game. Want to play? Sure. It's called Emily or Cinnamon. I give you actual quotes I've heard Raj say, and you guess if he was talking to his girlfriend or his dog. <laughs> Go ahead, make fun. You can't embarrass me. I've got a beautiful girlfriend and a dog who loves me so much she drinks my bath water. <laughs> Okay, who is he talking to, Emily or Cinnamon? I want you to know the bed feels so lonely when you're not in it. Yeah, I may not be liking this game so much. Cinnamon, give me another one. Okay, Emily or Cinnamon. Check it out, I got us matching sweaters. We all got the Christmas card, Cinnamon. <laughs> You know, a man can care deeply about a woman and a pet. It's not strange. Ooh, Emily, I heard him say that to Emily. <laughs> All right, guys, what game do you want to play? Let's see, how about Emily or Cinnamon? <laughs> <laughs> You know what, I think it's a little weird that you remember me saying all these things. Maybe the truth is you're jealous of all my relationships. Oh, maybe I am. Who wouldn't want to be the girl, or possibly dog, to hear the words? <laughs> You're so lucky, you have the shiniest hair. That is a tough one. Uh, I know he brushes both of them. Okay, so it's one vote, Emily, one vote, Cinnamon, Penny. You're the tiebreaker. Say the quote again. It's just so perfect that we're both Libras. Wow, this is hard. I'm gonna say cinnamon. Yes! yes come on! That was the last one. I promise we won't play anymore. Thank you. Because if she ever found out, it would hurt her feelings. Emily's feelings? <laughs> yes, Emily. Nice. Hey, guys. Mind if family joins us for lunch? Yeah, oh, of course sure. not. So, I hear you guys have been playing a little game. Well, um, we were just kidding around. Well, you may think it's funny that Raj is sweet and sensitive, but I think it's sexy. Oh, why is there dog hair in your mouth? 